If you ever log into your search console and it looks like this with a big drop in traffic, you're probably going to go, oh, fuck, like I just did, right? This is one of my websites here. Uh, it's kind of like a niche content website, FL Screens. It, you know, it really isn't monetable due to its subject type, but I do own a local service business in this space. So it kind of ties in with that and I do actively publish on there and keep it up to date. So I didn't want to see its traffic drop and well, I certainly didn't want to see it go to zero like this. When I seen this, I was like, oh fuck, right? So let's jump into diagnosing it here. Now, there's three things that I like to look at when it comes to diagnosing what the actual problem is in Search Console. And if I could pull that little notepad up, starting with number one, the first thing is an actual drop in SERP, right? So an actual drop in the search results themselves. Did the website actually go down? Uh, is this the result of a penalty? Now, when you see it go down to zero like this, that's probably not a penalty because when, when you get hit with a penalty or an algo update or something like that, you really don't go to zero. You might lose a lot, but you rarely go down to what is basically zero. I mean, I guess that could happen, but it usually doesn't happen like that. You just get a big hit, but not a zero hit. Uh, so then from there, you know, we got to check, see if it's an actual drop in SERP. It could be an indexing issue. And then it could also be a configuration issue in Search Console. All right, so these are the steps that I'm gonna take here to go through and diagnose it. Uh, let's see if it's an actual drop in SERP. To actually check that, what I'm going to do is simply look and find one of the keywords that has got the most clicks in the last couple of weeks, or what is this, last three months, and see if it's dropped. Now you could use a tracking tool like Ahrefs, um, what's the other big one out there? Ahrefs, uh, SEM Rush. I don't actually track, I, I don't actively track my SERPs. Um, you know, I, I believe more in taking a kind of holistic approach to growing overall traffic and not individual keywords. I guess in this case, you know, it could be could be helpful to track it, then you could actually see that stuff. But again, if you know that a certain keyword dropped, what are you gonna do, right? It's all about your holistic site, not just a keyword. We're just looking here to see if it's still pulling us traffic. Um, so I'm gonna open this up in Cognito so we get an accurate result and search for it. And well, I see us already at number two. So I don't really think that we dropped a hell of a lot, right? You, you kind of wanna go, you'll know, and re regardless of whether you track your keywords or not, you'll know which keywords you get a lot of traffic for and which ones you're on page one for. And obviously at the number two spot, we really didn't have a hit, right? So it's not that our, the algorithm didn't, you know, give us any problems. So next thing is an indexing issue, okay? There's two things we can check on this. What I like to do is just type in site in colon and then our URL. And we wanna see if the, the full site is still indexed or if things are dropping. FL screens, 439 results, right? So it's basically got all of the pages. You know, you should kind of keep a tab of about how many pages you have on your website. Um, you know, if this number were down at like sub 100, I'd probably be a little worried, but it looks like we're doing pretty good here. Now, the other thing we can check is for an active no index tag on the website. And I'm just gonna open it up the source code and do a control F no index, right? I'm not seeing that. If we type in robots, that might also find the tag. Index, follow, so we're good, right? It's not a no index on the robots tag. So it's not an indexing issue. Next, we gotta check configuration in Search Console. Now this has to do with the URL, so I should put that on there, URL. What we need to check is that in Search Console here, this URL that it's indicating, unless it's a domain property, that's very important to consider. Um, unless it's a domain property, your search console is set up just to uh, base, or it's set up to a base URL. That's the best way of saying it. It's set up to a base URL, right? So with any website, there can be a couple different configurations of the URL, or there, there would be four of them most likely. You can have HTTP dot dot. Right? So you can have that. You could have HTTP dot dot slash slash www dot. 
And then you could have the two variations of these in a secure variation, right? So the HTTPS. Uh, we don't know exactly how Google treats it, but Search Console treats it, unless you have a domain property set up as each one being kind of an individual layer to your website, right? So this has to match what is actually getting indexed. Now, in proper SEO optimization or proper SEO best practices, they should all point, they should all redirect to just one, okay? So no matter what somebody types in, it should redirect them back to what I call the base URL, which is the one that the site's loading. So let's go back to our search results here and pull it up. And you can do a site colon or you can just search a keyword. And now down in the bottom left, you see where it pops up and previews the URL? We can see that it's indexing the HTTPS dot dot slash slash www dot. That is the base URL in this case, or at least that's what it's indexing, right? And here it's doing it for all of them. Now, if we go back to our search console, we'll see right here that just is HTTP dot dot slash slash. There's no S. That's that's not a secure URL. So the base URL that we have set in Search Console is not the secure variant of it. Whereas what Google is indexing is the secure variant. It's got that HTTPS in there. So now what we need to do is check and see what our website redirects to. Right, so if we do this, let's just see if I can write to a non-secure URL on this. And it redirected. So I typed in HTTP and it redirected to HTTPS www. Now let's take out the www. and see if it redirects to the www. Boom. It looks like it did. Yeah, it did. So this site, um, you know, internally through the WordPress setup, its base URL is HTTPS www. So we need to have the search console set up to use that. Now what I can do is I can come in here and I can go into my settings and probably remove the property. Yeah, so I can come in here and remove property and then reset it up using that HTTPS dot dot slash slash www dot. We can do that. Um, you can also use the new domain property. Domain property is a new feature, not new anymore, but it's out for a year or two in Search Console, which will encompass all URLs on that website. So I'm actually gonna use that when I go back in and set it up. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I didn't cover. You could also change the base URL in WordPress and have them all redirect to another one. Um, and quite frankly, it doesn't matter which one they're going to, www. or no www. In theoretically and um, hypothetically, HTTPS, the secure URL is best for search engine optimization, but there's no, you know, hard, real hard evidence saying that, hey, you're going to do better. So the important thing is that you redirect the same one, you keep that consistent and set that up in Search Console or use the domain property. So that's a wrap, guys, on this video. If you enjoyed what you've seen here and you're getting value out of my insight, look for some of my other videos. I share a lot of in-depth kind of marketing tutorials and some of my own experiments, including in one video I just recently did a $70,000 plus experiment I ran on Facebook ads for my local business. So look for that one. Click the like button on this video, subscribe to that channel, and look for the No Bullshit Marketing Facebook group, guys. I'm signing off.